Okay, so I'm going to talk about it's changing the program. I'm going to talk about uh, arterial spin labeling in elderly people and neurodegenerative diseases. As I was showing earlier, we work in a, as part of an Alzheimer's center, so we are worried about Alzheimer's and other related dementias in aging population. So our area of interest in this case is quite is quite clear: is to try to improve and validate ASL as a technology to permit its development as a reliable clinical tool for diagnosis and follow-up of dementia. So as you already know, all of you, one of the holy grails is to try to have perfusion with no contrast agent in MRI, and that is, we think, um, we can do it with ASL now, but we need really to work a lot on taking it to the, to the clinic. So our methods, as we work with old people normally, so we, have to invest, we are investigating the effect of physiology due to age, cardiac function and neurodegeneration in uh, ASL, perfusion appraisal. We are adapting ASL sequences to the specific cases of studies. We are developing, we want to develop a common platform for post-processing and statistical analysis, uh, different sites. And we would like this to be independent of hardware manufacturers. So this is part right now, which is starting a European uh, project, a cost action. This is actually named Arterial Spin Labeling Initiative in Dementia, AID, that we get in together, is led by Professor Chabert Golay, and gets together quite a few groups in, in Europe worried about uh, ASL and how to put it to the clinic. So we've been working on, as I said, on, on trying to to have reproducible results with ASL in aging population. This is an example. I don't know if it moves. Okay. Anyway, this is a comparison between uh, ASL and PET, a study in Alzheimer's with group studies. So below, on the right, you can see the PET results, and on the left, you can see ASL, and it's quite similar studies. Work. Okay. So this is some group studies between control subjects and uh, mild cognitive impairment uh, subjects with ASL. As a wish list is simple. Uh, in this case, uh, groups from, from the USA interested in ASL can actually become associated to the European cost action. So as we want to broaden the number of groups working on this, we will invite anyone who wants to, to collaborate in this. Okay. So this is our group, and this is our contact of two people leading the project. Okay. Thank you.